Lil Tecca has taken the rap world by storm, and although he's only recently gained notoriety in the past year or so, surpassing a million SoundCloud streams back in May of 2018, it seems like he's just getting bigger and bigger as the weeks go by. Did I say it seems like he's just getting bigger and bigger as the weeks go by? Like weird? Most recently, he dropped an absolute banger titled Ransom. The video is directed by Cole Bennett, which is a huge cosign for the 16 year old rapper. In this video, we'll cover how Lil Tecca's rap career started, his beef with the city of Toronto, and how he got the name Lil Tecca in the first place. I mean, he's 16, so he's got plenty of years to tell the world his story, but we're gonna tell you guys 15 facts you did not know about Lil Tecca. We've also done a Before They Were Famous video and a Rich Life video on Lil Tecca, so be sure to check those out right after this one. What's good, fam? I'm your host, Jared Bronstein, coming at you straight from the six. A lie? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm not that good at the Toronto slang, but what would you expect from a white Jew from Toronto? Give me a break here. As always, let me know who you'd like to see in the comments down below, but let's get right into this one. Number 15, Lil Tecca got his braces put on sometime between May 21st and May 24th of 2018. Now, I didn't see any records from an orthodontist. In fact, I don't even know who his orthodontist is, but what I do know is while scrolling through his Instagram, you could see in a video posted on May 20th, it doesn't look like Lil Tecca has braces on. It's kind of hard to tell because in the video, he doesn't open his mouth too, too much, and I'll be honest with you guys, I was focused on the stacks of 20s he was throwing on the floor because it's pretty impressive for a 16 year old. But in his next post on May 25th, captioned, I quote, you're a waste ute, clear shot at Toronto slang, which kind of hurts them from Toronto, but it's also very funny. He clearly has braces in the picture. Number 15, Lil Tech got his braces put on sometime in May of 2018. Now, I don't see any records from an orthodontist. In fact, I don't even know who his orthodontist is. But what I do know is while scrolling through his Instagram, you could see posts of him with and then without braces. I guess without then with braces would make more sense, right? It's kind of hard to tell exactly when he got them put on, but I can tell you guys for sure it definitely was sometime in May. I mean, there was a video of him throwing 20s on the ground where it looked like he might have braces, but it's kind of hard to tell. I was too focused on the money to be honest with you guys. It's really hot with these lights. Like, I gotta, I gotta change my shirt, man. Just give me one sec. Number 14, one of Lil Tecca's first songs that really put him on the map is a song called Tech Tree, which he made with his friend Lil Gummy Bear. Although it was tough to find the track, I was able to pull it up on a site called MyMixtapes.com. That's My Mixtapes with a Z, not an S. Didn't say Z, even though I'm a Canadian. <laughs> I'm not even gonna count right now, Big Montine. I was born inside the CN Tower, top floor, on the tip. At the time of this recording, it has 1,877 plays and is still available to be played. So let's rack those numbers up. Number 13, Lil Tecca beefed with the entire city of Toronto. Okay. Not the entire city. I mean, we got a population of like, I think 2.5 million maybe. Toronto's population is like 2.5 million, yeah? Like around there? And I'm sure majority don't even know who Lil Tecca is. I'm not trying to take shots at the guy, quite honestly. I'm sure the only rapper half of Toronto knows is Drake, for obvious reasons. With the foul versus Andre the Kumpo. But anyone who's into the rap scene definitely knows about Lil Tecca and probably about his beef with the six. It all started when Lil Tecca caught wind of a local Toronto rapper's song on YouTube. The rapper's name is LB and the song is called No Time. It features other rappers Iraq and Lanx and currently has just over 2 million views on YouTube. So safe to say this guy's song is definitely popular. In a FaceTime interview with local Toronto podcast We Love Hip Hop Network, shout out to them, Lil Tecca explained what really went down. He said at first he listened to LB's song and didn't like it at all, but kept listening to it. I kept replaying, this has to be a reason why this shit has so much views, like, and then I just kept listening to it, bro. Like, I couldn't stop listening to it after that. Hmm. So for a while, that was the only shit. I was listening to. Around that time, Lil Tecca started looking for beats to rap over for himself. He found a similar beat to LB's, but it's definitely not the same beat. Regardless, that wouldn't stop the city of Toronto from calling out Lil Tecca, claiming he stole LB's beat. I get it, guys. You're trying to show some love for your city, which I'm all for. I mean, you guys always see me wearing Raptors hats, Jays hats, Leafs hats, but it's not the same beat. So stop hating on this young kid coming up. More specifically, popular Toronto Instagram page Six Buzz TV posted Lil Tecca's song, asking their followers if Lil Tecca stole the flow. People chimed in with their thoughts in the comment section, mostly negative, which sparked all this beef in the first place. But it also helped Lil Tecca gain a ton of exposure and he'd ride this wave to continue to grow. So boom, six months he DM'd me, he's like, you're getting exposed tonight. I'm like, I bet, let's get some clout. <laughs> he'd do so by making fun of Toronto slang and even posting a picture with a geotag of Jane and Finch, which is a major intersection in Toronto. Nah, 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 listen, listen, name five streets in Toronto right now. Jane and Weston. Jane and Driftwood, 
Jalen Shepard, Jalen Finch. Within a week, his following would almost double on Instagram from about 10,000 followers to 20,000. But at the time of this recording, he's got 458,000 followers on Instagram alone. It's not including SoundCloud, where he is, I'm sure, much bigger. Side note, he's never even been to Toronto. In Canada, kid, you, 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 you never okay. stepped in Canada, I'm, you're late. I'm, I'm okay, gang, and I'm, I'm a cool Jalen Finch kid. Okay, gang, way, cash flow, crudy. Oh, now at number 12, you're probably wondering if he's not from Toronto, well where is he really from? Lil Tecca was born in Queens, New York, but moved to Five Towns, Long Island when he was in the 7th grade. It's believed he's still currently living there, but I'm sure it won't be too long before Lil Tecca decides to leave his parents place and get a pad of his own. Whether that's in New York or LA is yet to be determined. I'm gonna bet on New York, but who knows? I mean, it is expensive, but the kid's got some money. Find out just how much on our Rich Life video on Lil Tecca. <laughs> See what I did there? Coming in at number 11, Tekka's, wait, can I call him that? Like just to clarify, I know his name is Lil Tekka. Whatever. His parents are Jamaican and his dad is actually a singer. Now unfortunately, I wasn't able to figure out his dad's name or find any of his music. But clearly musical talent runs in the family. Although in a recent interview, Tekka said he's never even heard any of his dad's music. So I wouldn't say his dad was a huge influence on his musical career, but it's clearly in the family's genes to have an interest in music in the first place. At number 10, Lil Tecca actually wanted to be in the NBA growing up, but realized in seventh grade that it wasn't a reality, so he focused on rap. In an interview with Power 105.1, Lil Tecca had this to say. I used to play basketball. Okay. Yeah, I used to play basketball. I was, when I was in seventh grade, I was like, I ain't going to the NBA, so I just cut that. One of the reasons Lil Tecca was probably discouraged that he wouldn't go to the NBA is most likely because of his height. Coming in at number 9, Lil Tecca's height. According to FamousBirthDeaths.com, Lil Tecca stands at 5 foot 7 inches, but again, he's only 16 years old. The kid's definitely got a few more years to grow, unlike me, who at 25 is standing at 5'9". <laughs> but this isn't a therapy session, so let's just get on with the video, deal with that later. At number 8, we're talking about Lil Tecca's first Billboard hit. For those of you that don't know, Lil Tecca's first song to hit the Billboard is, well I'm sure you guys guessed it, Ransom. It debuted at number 93 on June 15th, but I'm sure it'll climb the charts very, very quickly. The video for Ransom posted on YouTube at the time of this recording has over 21 million views and was uploaded just about a month ago. So it's safe to say, the kid's blowing up. I mean, being posted on the Lyrical Lemonade's YouTube channel is definitely a big help, but the kid's also got some talent, so be on the lookout for his name. At number 7, Lil Tecca's real name. I mean, you know his name isn't really Lil Tecca, but maybe it's his last name? Nope. Turns out his birth name is Tyler Sharp, and to my understanding, he probably still goes by Tyler, or Tecca, or Lil Tecca. And if you guys are wondering how he came up with the name Lil Tecca, well, you gotta stick around because that's coming up as well. Keeping them engaged. <laughs> They're probably like, fuck this guy. Number six, who are Lil Tecca's influences in the rap game? Growing up in New York, you'd think maybe like 50 Cent or Jay-Z. I mean, I love him. Apparently not though. Tecca explained his first influences were Eminem and Lil Wayne, then he really liked Meek Mill, but eventually he would grow to love the flows of Chief Keef, who he credits where he got his melodies from. Coming at number five, Lil Tecca's still in school. Teachers sound like a school Unlike most viral sensations who find a bit of fame and fortune and think they're set for life, Lil Tecca still attends, but his classes are all online and he does his homework from home. This gives him the chance to focus on rap, but he isn't expecting to drop out anytime soon. I don't even care about that school shit. You have yeah, to go to school, man. For you got school, listeners trust, and shit. Man. Go to school. There's people who yeah, listen. I'm a, I'm a graduate, but it's like, take I music. Don't understand take music business. How learn about the past is going to prepare me for the future. Oh. I mean, when he puts it that way, he's got a point. But for any of the kids watching this right now, you guys gotta stay in school. Or don't. Look, I'm not your parents, I really don't care what you guys do. We've got a badass over here. Now at number four, we're hitting you guys with Lil Tecca's number. No, we're not gonna release his number because we're not trying to expose anyone on this channel, but our very own Michael McCrudden almost got an interview with Lil Tecca. Unfortunately, he missed his time slot, and let me tell ya, he's a busy kid. But Mike has his number, so be sure to check back on our Lil Tecca videos, because I got a feeling we're gonna have an interview with him sooner than later. For real, I actually had an interview with Lil Tecca, but then I missed it, and now he ain't picking up a phone calls. <laughs> and Lil Tecca, if you're watching, Come on man, answer Mike's calls, he really wants to talk to you. Number three, Lil Tecca's rap career started when he decided it was time to put his Xbox buddy in his place. Rather than just talk shit over the headset like I usually do, Lil Tecca made a one minute freestyle absolutely shredding his buddy. Although it was all in good fun, he posted it to SoundCloud but would later take it down. To this day it seems no one could find it, but if you do find it, send me the link cause I'd love to hear what a nine year old's freestyle sounds like. Especially when it's focused on chirping his friend over Xbox. Get out. 
Me, of course. Oh, okay. Obviously. <laughs> Did you upload it anywhere? Yeah. Where? SoundCloud. I figured it was, it was on SoundCloud. Is it still it was, there? Can I still no. listen to it? It's like It was like seven years ago. Oh, here you go. Yeah, now you deleted it. I deleted it. all of that. I know it has something to do with this big head. Number two, Lil Tecca has released songs with a handful of labels. According to Apple Music, aside from all of his independent releases, he's released songs with labels including Moneybag Music for his single My Time, Count Me Out with the hip hop label Resolute, and most recently Molly Girl and Ransom with Galactic Records. And our number one fact. This is the one you guys have all been waiting for. How did the 16 year old kid from Queens, New York, who's blowing up in the rap game, come up with the name Lil Tecca in the first place? Was he inspired by all the Lil's like Lil Pump, Lil John, Lil Wayne? Nope. During an interview with Lyrical Lemonade, he was asked exactly how he came up with the name. Turns out it all started on Instagram. This is an exact quote from the interview. I got the name Lil Tecca from a girl on Instagram. Her name was Tecca and she used to call me Lil Tecca, so I said fuck it, why not just use the name? There you guys have it. Who would have thought that's how he got his name? Well, now you guys know. 15 facts about Lil Tecca. As always, you guys gotta draw me a comment right down below with who you want us to cover next. Be sure to like and subscribe to this dope channel. Until next time, my name is Jared Bronstein. Catch me on Instagram where I make some funny memes. At least I think they're funny at Bronze 7 and I'll see you guys in the next video.